So another important thing to practice is dry practice with your rifle or whichever primary firearm you anticipate using when you're wearing your armor. Number one consideration is your stock. Collapsible stocks are obviously a huge advantage for wearing armor and you want to know beforehand what position your stock needs to be on. So you want to know what I mean by beforehand before you go out and actually have to use your rifle. As an example, uh, this stock is on my primary rifle and it is typically at position four when I'm not wearing armor. But anytime I put on a plate carrier, I go ahead and drop it down to position two because I know that that is the most comfortable position for me. Now on this particular rifle, I've got it set up on single point. And I like to have single point anytime I'm wearing armor because when I go to shoulder the rifle, it's not going to get hung up on anything because the sling does not have to move with the rifle when the rifle set up single point. So it gives me that capability to easily come up and down without it getting caught up on any gear. One of the things that can really help you with that is just to throw something simple like one of these plastic Grimlocks or even a carabiner on the back of your gear to hold your sling off your neck so it's not strangling you or cutting into you and also make sure the sling stays in place so it's not moving around too much but it doesn't prevent me from moving my rifle into several different retention positions while I'm wearing my carrier. So on this setup, I'm using a two-point sling also made by Redwire Gear, who's the same company that made Glenn's. Um, as you can see, it's nice and uptight up here, but as soon as I need to rock it, it's not gonna impede with my gear, which like earlier when we mentioned moving the medical pouch to the right side of the, of the carrier is to prevent the sling from getting caught up in that, which is, leads us into our second point of why you wanna test your gear. You wanna test it from multiple positions, we're standing right now, but um, not all the fighting is going to be done from a standing. You want to make sure you're getting on the ground, rolling around, left, right, prone, kneeling, and just make sure that your sling, your rifle, your gear, it's all working together for you. thing to do is put his arm straight up in the air and now he's going to bend over to the left he can bend over all the way to the right and now he's going to twist his torso and you want to make sure that the carrier is moving with your body it shouldn't be shifting or moving around as you're twisting 